were traumatized when you ate American bread? Like, were you like... Yes, because it was so <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. And today, we're going to be talking about America versus Germany. The differences between each country. I'm American, and... <laughs> I am Jake! <laughs> I live here, but I feel like I am German, so I was like, oh, I identify as a German person. But you've lived in Germany. Yeah. Yeah, okay. She's lived in America for several months. We made a small little list to talk about the differences between Deutschland and America. And They're at the end, we will have a little test. Wait, really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How good your German is. Okay. So the very first thing Jigs realized about America is that they sell things in bulk, like by very large quantity. I walked into the grocery store. I wanted to get groceries. I walked into this aisle and there was one big aisle, just orange juice, 10 meters or so, just orange juice in the whole thing from up until down one row, just oh. orange juice and three liters, five liters. So big package like this here they're normal sizes i feel like in america everything or in usa everything is so big and here you can get this stuff too but in specific stores you can get big amounts like this and this was something i was really i realized in the beginning already that everything is like just giant size everything's Big in America. Not everything, but I think it's easier like in stores they sell everything in bigger quantities Whereas compared to Germany, that's not the case. I mean everything's a little bit smaller You can look at like cup size for like drinks or coffees at stores You can just tell the difference between European sized scales Whereas America is like, you know, you can get the XXL burger or you know drink if you want to. That brings us to our next topic of food. In America, there's not as many restrictions as to what companies can put into their products, whereas at least- It's just trash. Yeah. <laughs> everything maybe. I tasted the vegetables and the fruits and it was just, I didn't just buy in one specific store. I went to several stores and I feel like everything just looked fake to me. The apples were all in really nice decorations and stuff. They really shiny, look perfect, but they just taste so fake. Or everything is with sugar or a lot of oil. It makes it taste tasty, but in a fake way. I don't want to say every, everything, all the groceries are bad or so. I could really tell from the beginning that the food is so different, even oil. I one time bought oil and cooked with it and it was so gross. I don't know what stuff I bought. And in European, they have like these laws what can come into the country and what things are not allowed. And I think this is, I would say still there are many things you can buy here which are not good for your health. But right. Still, I feel like in America, they put all the inside and it's just allowed. I think why many American people have like big weight problems. I'm glad you said that like here in Germany, you can still find bad food for you. I think in any country you can find junk food, mm -hmm. anything that, that's just not good for your body. If you compare two products, one that's in Germany, one that's in America, and they're both the same type of food or drink, you'll find that America puts more chemicals, especially with like fruits and veggies, like things to help expedite the process of growing these foods faster so that they're bigger. And here in Germany, that's not allowed. Or at least I think for most of Europe, it's not allowed. In terms of being able to find healthy food, it's way easier to do it here in Germany compared to America. You said that when you walked into stores in America, people would be like, hi, how are you? Asking like a conversation, it sounds like, but in reality, they're just saying hello. If you go into a grocery store or bakery or whatever, people will not be mean to you or so, but I think it's just not common that you come into a store and they say, oh, how are you? Of course, you cannot ask every customer how they are with an honest answer back. And a, this is maybe just another way to say hello or so but I always walked in and I was so confused because I didn't know what to say I didn't know I say just good or I say how are you back or so because some people just say how are you and then the other person says ah how are you and then this is the conversation <laughs> yeah. everyone asks how they are but there's no answer yeah so weird. how are you how are you I don't think it's bad but I, I just I was I didn't know how to answer often. Mm -hmm. Some people like they always expect you to say like I'm good or like fine and then if you like tell someone like I'm not doing well yeah. it really catches them off guard they're like oh there's one thing that Germany has more than America 
And that's paperwork. It's and bread. And bread, yes. You can guarantee every single small town or city has a bread store. In America, the bread is just packaged. Maybe you can oh, find some this bread. This is not even bread. How can companies put bread on the packaging the word because it's not bread is i don't know what they put inside of this stuff it was like paper and it was <laughs> toast and then they say this is bread but you make this and it's so soft <laughs> were you traumatized when you ate american bread like were you like yes because it was so <laughs> disgusting here you have hundred different kinds of bread with different topping. Even in the smallest village, you get a good bakery here. I'm sure there are places in America that they have bread yeah, stores. Yeah, of course, yeah. Right, but a majority of America, like you go to Walmart or like any kind of grocery store and you just get packaged bread. There's no love put into it, you know? It's not fresh. Like every time you go to a bakery here in Germany, like it's made that morning, it's good it's like stuff. Arctic. It's it, like art. Bread, bread is like art in, in Germany. <laughs> Germany has way more paperwork. Um, at least coming from a foreigner's eyes and the smallest little things when you get a job having to renew your license And I've only lived here for mm, less than two years And we recently went to the city hall where they have a bunch of my paperwork and the folder for it I swear it's like this big already. I cannot believe how much paperwork they have on me Of course in America There's paperwork that you have to do as well, but it's not so much a lot of things more digitalized there in America and that's something I really miss. I don't enjoy the paperwork side of things. That's just how the government here in Germany works. If you wanna to go to the grocery store on Sundays. You cannot go. You can't go to the grocery store on Sundays, okay. You can't go. So what if I want to go? You cannot go. Is anything open on Sundays, Jake? No. Oh, oof. That's you right. cannot go on Sundays, you have to rest. You cannot vacuum on Sundays and you cannot make your garden. Lawnmower. Yes, you cannot do it. It's too much so. And of course there are some things that are open like coffee shops, ice cream, you know, these places make a lot of money because everyone's not working mm -hmm. so they... Yeah, but this is like free time stuff. Right. The coffee shops, bakeries are also open but maybe not that long. And if you want to go shopping on Sundays, it's not possible. Everything's closed. Germany has a really nice train system. I think, I mean, train systems just connected everywhere in Europe so any country in Europe has <laughs> Germany has good train system. America doesn't really have a train system. They have trains, but the train system in America is... How about you tell us about the waiter salary and tips? Okay, I think that if you go in restaurants in the USA, that you have this rule or so, or unspeaking rule that you have to give at least 10-15% of tips to the waiters. And it's like disrespectful to not do it. Yeah. Also, if you read like touristic guides and stuff, they always say, oh, you have to tip, give tips. And we don't have this here. Of course, you can tip people here, but it's your decision to do. And it's not like an like an unspoken rule if you don't do it. Because, yeah, of course, maybe you will be a little sad if you don't get tips from this and this customer, but it's never so important. The waiters are probably not this... Uh, uh, Reliant? Reliant on tips. tips because they get a salary. I don't say the salary is good or so. The tips will be just on top of the salary. And I think in the USA, it's like you are so dependent on the tips. This is your main income, the tips, which I think is a stupid system. If you're working at a restaurant as a server in America, I feel really bad for you because I think that system of relying on tips that people give, it's not fun. This is really interesting. I didn't really know this. So like in America, it's really common. Maybe your parents or your grandparents have the American flag in their backyard. It's quite often that people wear it on their clothes or like on tennis shoes or like the American flag design is kind of scattered everywhere. In terms of Germany, people still show the flag in front of their houses or on apparel, but it's not as common. The reason being is that Germany's past is riddled with, of course, World War II, World War I. And so a lot of people feel fearful to be patriotic about their country. It's just not a common thing, I would say, to wear the German flag or things so proudly. The cliche is that Americans are really proud of their country, blah blah blah. And of course you have people like this too here, but I feel like it's more subtle. People have sometimes flags in their gardens or so, but it's not like we decorate things with it because of, I think, because of the country's history. The country's feeling of an identity is not the same like America or so, yeah. or USA, because, because of what happened. 
mm -hmm. because nationalism and patriotism both had a big role in the past and it as we know it didn't go so well germany has health care america has health care it's not so good the reason being germany has a better health care system is because of the taxes and then that leads to taxes and how your salary gets taxed more here in germany compared to america I just think the social politics are better. Yeah, I think so too. I think because there are many things in Germany, like even in the city that we live in, there's many buildings for like young people and even for the community to go participate and be a part of. These places are funded by the government, which is really cool to see. I think in terms of how the government spends their money, at least giving back to the public, I think Germany does a better job compared to America, which likes to dump a lot of that into its military for getting oil. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> sitting down. Ah, sitting yes. Down. You know, uh, it's also my preference. I like going out, drinking stuff, having the cultural experience with food and food and drinks because food and drinks is something so important of cultures, I think. I just love to sit down and chill and have also food as a social interaction possibility. Like you sit, you meet with your friends and you go somewhere to eat or you go somewhere to just take a coffee or whatever. You chill. You really be mindful and sit down. I don't know if this is the whole USA. I was just in New York. People were crazy busy and people always take everything to go and eat food fast or so. Yeah, I think there are also restaurants which you can sit down and mm -hmm. chill and enjoy and stuff. America is really fast. It's like, gotta go, gotta go. You know, there's more drive-throughs. There's this element of like, get your stuff, go, you have things to do kind of thing. And I think it's more common, at least in Germany, to kind of like, hey, let's just vibe a second. Mm -hmm. You know, let's just relax. Let's enjoy our food. And obviously, yeah, that happens in America, but I think it's more common here in Europe to really enjoy that element. In the beginning, when we were together, he always wanted to have breakfast, watch something while breakfast, and have it really Fast, fast, just take the ball, cereal, eat, eat. Uh, <laughs> I cannot do it. It's not possible. I, I like to have a table, have the stuff on the table, you sit down and you eat. And you enjoy eating because eating is nice. This was the video about the differences of the two countries. Just because we say this doesn't mean it is like this in the universal way. Because we're just two people and we made our experiences. This is how we think the differences are and how we experienced it. And... Yeah. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Okay, I have three tests for you. Okay, what is the first if test? If you go to the grocery store and you say, Hey, I forgot the wheat at home. Wheat? Wheat? <laughs> for baking. Uh, wheat? Wheat. What? I need some wheat for baking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well role play. You're the grocery store person and I'm the person asking for wheat, okay? Boop! 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 Uh, Hello, ich habe Frage. Okay. Ich vergessen eine uh, Zeug für Brot. Keine Ahnung, was es wird in Deutsch, aber ja. Was? <laughs> <laughs> okay, alles klar. Bruh. Hier hast du ein bisschen Mehl. Ja, danke schön. Bitte schön. Uh, schönen Tag. Alles Gute, tschüss. Test number two. You want to call the foreigner office and say you really like them. Ja, hallo, Ausländerbehörde. Hallo, uh, wie geht's? Ja, ganz gut, ja, ja, ich muss arbeiten, du? Uh, ja, ich bin gut. Um, uh, expression, dass die Ausländerbüro ist cool und uh, du bist gut. Du bist gut Mensch, ja. Dankeschön für deine Hilfe. Für meine dumme Frage. <laughs> <laughs> Und uh, schönen Tag, tschüss. Okay, tschüss, danke schön. <laughs> I think I did pretty good, though. Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> Last test, here we go. I have to say something now and I have to answer. And I okay. Have to figure out what you want to say. Uh, hello. Hello. Wo ist mein Handy? Uh, keine Ahnung. Mein Handy ist blau mit Videospiel. Uh, case. Ah, okay, okay, alles klar. Ich muss suchen. Wo ist es? Ich glaube, es ist hier. Ich habe es gefunden. Ah, das ist mein Handy. Yeah. Dankeschön. Congratulations, you have the first certificate from Jake's Academy. Yay! Thank you for the video and as always, stay hydrated gamers.